Hello and welcome to another episode of Historically Mart. I am in the Great Smoky Mountains and I'm still in North Carolina and um, unfortunately, I mean, it just, I mean, it just stopped raining. That's the, that's the great part, but now it's going to be all foggy. So in other words, we can't really see the mountains, but I am in front of Cleman's Dome, which is um, the largest mountain in the Smoky Mountains. And there's a historical marker here and I'm off a roadside pullout. So I'll go ahead and show you around. Here we go. And this is what is called the Charles Webb Overlook and somebody left behind uh, fast food looks like. Onion ring just fell out of there. Now the bad part is we can't see Klingman's Dome, but I will go ahead and read off one of these from the, one of the National Park Service's markers. So this is Charles Webb, who this um, overlook is named after. Prominent, prominent civic leader, conservationist, and newspaper publisher of Asheville, North Carolina. Not too far from here, it's about an hour away. Maybe more than that because the roads being so windy and all that. His interest in activity helped to establish Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And this is Thomas Klingman, and there's more on that. The high routed mountain in front of you is Klingman's Dome. Again, we cannot see it because of the fog, but let's just kind of use our imagination, shall we? <laughs> there is another road that about seven miles um, out of the way that takes you to the um, another part of Klingman's Dome, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be the same thing. But again, let's just play a little pretend game. All right, so it is the highest mountain in Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the highest in Tennessee, and the third highest in the eastern United States. It bears the name of Thomas Lanier Klingman, Klingman explorer, politician, and Civil War general who measured mountains here in the mid-1800s. Wow, very impressive. Okay, they used barometers considered crude by today's standards. They used the instruments to measure atmospheric pressure at the mountain summits. And then some more on that. And then mathematical formulas, air temperature, humidity, latitude, and other variables. The scientists calculate a mountain's elevation. As you explore the park, you might notice that the highest peaks bear their name bear these names. Well duh. <laughs> Lastly, on the bottom, it talks about um, the top six eastern peaks. Now, New Hampshire's Mount Washington is the 17th highest peak in the east. But here's those just in North Carolina and Tennessee. If you want a good look at that. But right now, I mean, mountains are nowhere to be found back home in the St. Louis area, but right now I'm just appreciating the scenery, even though I can't really see half of it, <laughs> but I'm cool. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Historically Mart. I am Jason. Um, Behind me is Klingman's Dome, and I am in North Carolina, not too far from the Tennessee border in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This is Historically Mart, signing off.